Hey guys, it is Mr. Bison here and I have just done the first Corpio One paper. First of all, it's pouring with rain here, so it's probably going to be kind of noisy in the background, but I wanted to film this as soon as I'd left the example. I'm just in my car right now. And my first thoughts about this paper is it was pretty decent. It was kind of how we could have got the best outcome for this paper. There wasn't anything in it that was that crazy, that much of a curveball. There wasn't really anything that made me go like, oh my gosh, what do I have to do here? I need to think really carefully. So as far as I'm concerned, this was a pretty generous paper from Edexcel for this first paper. And it makes me think one of two things, either that the second paper, the Corpio paper next, uh, the week after next, is going to be quite a lot harder. Or it makes me think that these grade boundaries, we should be bracing ourselves for a jump in these grade boundaries for further maths. It's normally about 78% for an A-star. I can definitely see that moving up just on the back of this paper that we've got here. And what did we have in this? We had two complex numbers questions. Question one and question two felt like they were almost like the same kind of thing. And they were like a seven marker within it that really didn't have that much complicated stuff to do either. The polar question, I thought was pretty straightforward. It was kind of similar to one that I did in the live stream yesterday in terms of having to find that value of A. So if you watch that, hopefully that helped you. Um, and then there was a complex numbers one that was really reminiscent of a past paper question. It was a Demoivre's theorem one. And I've just seen that kind of stuff, you know, come up in a past paper. I think even cos to the power of five has already come up previously. We had a first order differential equation, which was fine because they showed us like what it was meant to become. The proof by induction I thought was really kind of straightforward, the vectors were straightforward and then the coupled differential equation at the end was really nice because even the differentials when you had to go from like x to dx dt after you'd found the general solution, even that was pretty straightforward. So some predictions of what I think will be coming up next and if in the half term you want to do some of this revision with me I've got £15 tickets to a two hour revision session uh, plus some extra questions I'll send you away with with a video of me going through it that all takes place on Zoom. £15, proper bargain. And I think the topics that should be coming up or could be coming up hasn't been anything on argand diagrams yet. There has been some stuff on series with proof by induction, but not really using the standard formulae. Also wasn't anything on series with method of differences. So that's still going to probably be coming up. There was nothing on volumes of revolution and there was also nothing on integration. There was a tiny bit of integration with polar, but this means we're going to expect a lot of stuff could be improper integrals we could be seeing stuff with mean func mean value of a function we could be seeing some stuff to do with the further calculus and hyperbolics i'm anticipating quite a lot of that stuff coming up and of course no matrices and no linear transformations so if you want to come to that session with me in the half term i will try and prepare you as best as i can for all of these topics uh, with as many kinds of things that haven't come up yet there wasn't a second order differential equation i mean there was coupled so I'm a bit iffy whether there'll be another one. There's usually two differential equations and they both came up in this paper. So I hope that you guys have done well. Um, <coughs> and actually you'll find I also did a poll about this and the poll at the moment, it's only had 100 votes and over half of the people have given it a five out of five for how well that it has gone. Sorry for my cough there. I've not been feeling that well the last couple of days, but exams happen. You've just got to keep going. So... I hope I'll see you in my half term session. I hope that you have better weather than I do here up north. And well done. The first paper is done and I will see you in another video soon.